Hi, I'm Clifford Stummy. I'm the pop song professor. Today I'm going to be explaining Closer by the Chainsmokers and featuring Halsey, as suggested by Mouse. That's Mouse with a dollar sign. The music is super catchy and the lyrics have a few things that we can dive a little bit deeper into. In the first verse, Andrew Taggart, one of the DJ duo's members, sings about a chance meeting with an ex-girlfriend from college. He sings that he knows it breaks your heart to think about when he moved to the city in a broke down car with four years of no calls. Their relationship didn't work out so well, but now he happens to run into her again, looking pretty in a hotel bar. Their relationship didn't work out for a few reasons. But one of those is that he used to drink too much and she's kind of a spoiled rich kid, which we know because she has a rover that she, quote, can't afford, and because her parents paid for her to go to Boulder, which has a total cost of over $50,000 a year. But despite those problems and their lack of emotional compatibility, Taggart's narrator sings, I can't stop, no, I can't stop. As the duo's other member, Alex Paul, explains on Genius.com, the song shows that sort of rush of memories and emotions, mostly physical, that leads to a hookup. Basically, the two see each other and decide to have sex in the back of a rover. And it eventually moves to her apartment on her mattress that she stole from her roommate. She sings, you look as good as the day I met you. I forget just why I left you. I was insane. Suggesting that maybe it was her who did the breaking up after all. Or that maybe they both think that they broke up with the other? But that explains why neither is really mad at the other person. Anyway, she mentions listening to a Blink-182 song with him when they were together before. And the Chainsmokers tell us on Genius.com that that song is I Miss You. Which seems to be a further suggestion from the writers of the song that the two never completely forgot about each other. And this brings us to the five most important words in the song. We ain't never getting older. They both sing this, and it suggests that maybe they're ignoring the reasons this relationship didn't work out the first time. And ignoring the fact that there are consequences to their actions. Instead, they just want to feel the moment, enjoy feeling like they're never getting older, and keep getting closer. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to hear me explain a song, feel free to post it in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to my channel. I've got a lot more videos coming and you don't want to miss any of them. Also, if you like these explanations but you run out of videos to watch, my website has a ton more where that came from. There's lots of podcasts, blog posts, all sorts of stuff. You can find it at www.cliffordstummy.com. Bohemian Rhapsody was released in 1975 and it's super complicated, mostly because it's split into different parts that each sound completely different from the others. Not only is the song deep, but the music is beautiful and you should listen to it. Also, I need a catchphrase or something like that. I thought of Stay Thirsty, my friends, but that one's already taken. So maybe we'll say go deeper and don't forget to always go deeper.